In today's video, I'll be talking about the reason why I left my family to come to Ireland and practice as a nurse. So stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Nurse Momo, originally from Ghana. Now I'm practicing as a nurse in Ireland. I want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers for promoting this YouTube channel and also for believing in whatever that I'm doing. If this is your first time of joining the family, you are very welcome. Please remember to hit the subscription bell so that anytime I post my videos, you'll be the first person to be notified. I want to say Happy New Year to all of you and I pray that may this year bring us all the good things that we are expecting from the Lord. May the Lord's plans be the one that will be established in our lives and may the Lord bring us rest on every side. Thank you so much for all that you've done for me. So, with my initial plans of traveling to abroad, I had to now write the English proficiency examination. And with my required band score, I finally settled on Ireland because Ireland's um, English proficiency um, requirements was more flexible. With that being said, my initial plans was to travel to the UK and practice as a nurse. But with Ireland's flexible IELTS requirements, I got to now um, probe more and then did some research okay, about Ireland and I have finally settled on um, Ireland. On this note, if you know you haven't watched my video on the required band score for Ireland, kindly um, check the description button. I've left the link over there. So you can now go and watch and then uh, get to know more about the required band score for Ireland. So secondly, I decided to practice in Ireland because upon research, I got to know that when you come into Ireland and you practice as a nurse, okay, you get paid based on your experience. So that was like, really, wow, that's what's really exciting because I don't have to go into someone's country and begin from the scratch, you know. So assuming you're an Irish nurse and you are practicing, um, you have 10 years of experience and uh, someone from an overseas country equally comes into your country and has the same years of experience with you both of you are being paid the same which i believe is very fair and i was like yeah then i'll really go for this country because i'm being paid for what i'm worth you know so i was like yeah i'm all for it so watch out as i bring you a new video as I take you through the HSC skill, that's a paid skill um, that is being given, okay, to nurses um, in Ireland. I'll bring that very soon. And then we can equally, you can equally decide um, the best country you equally want to work. Upon further research, I got to know that in Ireland, when you practice as a nurse for two years, you finally um, become eligible to apply for what we call the STAM4. So with the STAM4, it's just like a permanent residency and with that you don't need any work permits to practice in the country and there are some benefits that you get um while when you hold a stamp for because you are able to firstly you are able to work with two employers so initially when you come into the country you are given what is called a stamp one and with the stamp one you are required to get a work permit and with that you are just um given the opportunity to just work with just one employer Okay, but in this case, with what we call the stamp four, you are able to work with two employers. So you can equally work with an, um, your hospital and also do an agency work, which was very, very brilliant for me. And I was like, oh, this is very cool. Secondly, you are also eligible to apply for a loan. Okay, and also that's of a mortgage. So you can apply for loan as in cash and also apply for a mortgage, which is very, very good. So holding the stamp four after two years was like an itch for me. Yeah, I really want to do this. So that is it. So now let's talk about citizenship. So from research, I got to know that in Ireland, if you are able to come and stay in the country for a period of 60 months, which is five years, you are eligible to apply for citizenship. So if you are able to stay in the country for two years, we all know that you are able to get your stamp four. So if you are able to now leave for an additional three years, which makes a total of five years, then you can now go ahead and then apply for citizenship. Let's go through some of the benefits of being an Irish citizen. First and foremost, you are able to enjoy some fundamental rights as set out in the Irish constitution. Also, you are able to live, work, study and travel in Ireland and the UK. Thirdly, you are able to live, work, study and travel in the EU or the EAA. Also, you are able to access free education. You are also able to vote in the Irish and the European elections. Additionally, you can be elected 
to the government. Hmm. Also, you can enjoy diplomatic support outside of the of Ireland. And you can equally hold dual or multiple citizenship. So you don't have to renounce your, citizen, uh, your citizenship from your initial country as well. And lastly, you are able to pass Irish citizenship to your children, which is very, very interesting. So now let's look at where an Irish passport holder can travel to without needing a visa. As of December 2022, it is established that Irish passport holders can travel visa-free to 146 countries and eight territories. So take your time, sit down as I take you through all of the countries. So being a mother, I was looking at a country that will really benefit my children and also um, benefit me as a mother as well. So after further research, I got to know that when you come into Ireland and practice, or uh, when you come and uh, stay in Ireland, you get what we call the child benefits. So each uh, parent is entitled to child benefits. So um, assuming you have five children, each child is entitled to 140 euro, which in some, um, some way can equally help you in... Um, kind of taking care of your children and also help promote um, their well-being as well. Lastly, I will say that um, coming into Ireland, I got to know that um, education is equally free. Do things like their books, which is very, very affordable and can even be catered um, for with the child benefits as well. So having free education, having child benefits is very, very important. And I was like, yeah, I'm all for this because the benefits are way too much. Thank you for joining me in today's session. I hope I've been able to educate you about some of the benefits of Ireland. If you have considered moving to Ireland, you are very much welcome to the family. If not, kindly post at the comment section the reason why you've considered a certain country to be your dream country that we can all learn from same. Thank you so much for joining me. If you still haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, kindly hit the subscription bell so that any time I post my videos, you'll be the first person to be notified. And I hope that you've been able to like this YouTube channel. Kindly share with your friends as well so that you can all view and also understand some of the benefits of working in Ireland. See you soon on my next video.